Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the experiment for friction. Static friction at the onset of motion. If force F is increased, frictional force F also increases accordingly and the object still remain at rest. However, for a certain value of F, the object start to move. At this stage, the frictional force is known as the limiting static frictional force Fx, which is the maximum value of F. Hence, Fs is equal to mu s r, where mu s is the coefficient of static friction, Fs is the static frictional force, and r is the normal reaction force. Kinetic friction in motion. Now, if the object is in motion, the frictional force is known as kinetic friction Fk. The kinetic frictional force is less than the static frictional force. That explains why it is difficult to move an object which is initially at rest. But when it is in motion, less force is needed to maintain the motion. So, Fk is equal to mu k r, where mu k is the coefficient of kinetic friction. Fk is the kinetic frictional force and R is the normal reaction force. Since Fk is less than Fs, therefore, mu S is bigger than mu K.
next, write a full report. Give comments about the experimental result by comparing it with the standard value. State the source of error as well as any precaution taken to overcome them. Lastly, state the conclusion for the experiment. If you have any question, leave a comment below. I will try my best to answer your question. Thank you for watching.